So thank you for joining us for the inaugural meeting of the new Aurora Town Council. Like any first meeting of a new council, tonight is filled with the promise of things to come, and I'm truly excited about the possibilities the next four years presents for our community. But before I speak about the future, there are, I, I do want to first offer a few words of thanks. Uh, first to uh, Louisa Barbosa for that beautiful rendition of O Canada that she, she did for us all today, um, as well as to Laurie Thompson. Thank you uh, for officiating this evening's inaugural meeting. Thank you very much. Uh, to our town clerk, Michael Durand, and his team, thank you for chairing tonight's meeting. And to Kelly and Betty and Shelley Ware and her team for organizing this evening's events. To the members of council, new and returning, I offer my congratulations to you and your families. And I look forward to working together to create a positive and productive four years for the community of Aurora. To the members of town staff, our CAO, our executive leadership team, we are fortunate to work with an extraordinary group of hard-working people. I know you are ready to continue working hard to provide the best for our residents. And to my dear friends, my campaign team, and all my supporters, thank you for your time and your hard work. To my family, thank you for a lifetime of love and encouragement, and I know that your support has helped me get to where I am today. And to Allison, I told you I'd do this. <laughs> you know, and, and I said this at our, at, at, during the night of the election, you know, we came here 15 years ago and we opened our hearts to this town and the town opened their hearts to us. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be standing where I am here today. And I love you very much. And thank you to the residents of Aurora for your faith in me and in all of us. I am profoundly humbled by the honor of representing our community, and I'm confident that we will work hard to deserve that trust that you have placed in us. Tonight represents the sum total of the hard work, the hopes, the dreams of not only the representatives you see before you, but the residents we represent. Every one of us here tonight has a vision for Aurora. Throughout the campaign, each candidate shared their vision, and by your votes, you have chosen us and given us a mandate to bring that vision to life. And we recognize that it will be our ability to work towards that realization of that shared vision of Aurora that will mark the success of this term of council. And that future begins tonight. The next four years represents a pivotal point in Aurora's history. Building on the work of the past council past term of council, we are now positioned to move forward on important initiatives that will be key community builders in the years to come. And I'd like to highlight a number of those issues that I've heard were important to all of you. Issues that you told me were important to creating a community that we want to live in. And over the next four years, this council must focus on creating a livable community we can be proud to leave for our children. When it comes to the broader issues of growth and development, Residents know where I stand. My track record of defending our official plan and our vision for Aurora speaks for itself. At the end of the day, I believe we all want the same thing, a more vibrant, more livable community. And that includes protecting our green spaces by using the tools and resources we have to protect them. It also means that we respect our past while looking to the future. Heritage, heritage buildings are very important to our community and our residents and businesses expect us to do what we can to protect our history. Smart and appropriate growth, development that is in keeping with the vision we have for our community is the key to a thriving and sustainable community. I will work with council to ensure the planning decisions we make are focused on providing big city amenities and services while maintaining Aurora's small town charm and green spaces for our future generations. There are many other important pieces to the puzzle to get us where we want to go, a better community for everyone. Improving the livability of our community is a key part of community building. Our neighborhoods are where we call home and it's very important to all of us. But our stable neighborhoods are under increasing pressure due to the demand of development. There is widespread concern about inappropriate infill development that does not fit in or keep with the character of our community. And a blanket statement of no monster homes isn't a plan. More needs to be done. 
And that's why one of the first issues that this council will address is a strategy to address that issue of stable neighborhoods. Work is already underway as the consultant's report is due in January. And I commit to ensuring that we respect our past in our decision making. Hand in hand with protecting our stable neighborhoods and heritage buildings is addressing the issue of affordability and accessibility of housing in our community. Seniors want to stay in the community that they've built their lives in. And new young people want to raise families and build their lives here. Aurora needs a diversity of housing options, bungalows, smaller unit dwellings, and purpose-built rental housing. We have the tools to improve the accessibility of housing in Aurora, and we will use them. Our downtown core has been envisioned for the past 20 years. This term, I'm committed to getting something done. During the 2014 term of council, we took the first steps towards our shared vision of a revitalized downtown core that preserves and promotes its unique heritage attributes. This council will build on that work to complete the redevelopment of Library Square into a true civic square and repurposing our heritage building, the Armory, as the new home to Niagara College, who's specifically located in Aurora because of the exciting work that we are doing in our core. The completion of these two innovative initiatives will move us significantly forward to realize a vibrant downtown core. With all the changes in growth, it's no secret that traffic has gotten worse in Aurora. The congestion is having a significant impact on our ability to get where we need to go, as well as increasing concerns about parking, particularly surrounding the GO station. This council needs to work with all levels of government to develop long-term solutions to the traffic issues in our community. We need to work with Metrolinx to address the ongoing issues of the parking at the GO, and telling residents that they need to take the bus is just not the answer. The interconnectivity between YRT and Viva and the GO is simply not there, and our residents deserve better. I will make it a priority to work with the region, our transit partners, to explore better transportation options for our residents. A truly livable community is based on a foundation of sound financial planning and management, and the financial health of Aurora is good. This council will prioritize fiscal accountability in all its decisions. Through the hard work of our financial advisory committee, we've implemented a policy of setting the tax rate at inflation plus 1%, which goes into a reserve. Now, the benefit of this is that year to year, residents know what the tax rate will be, so they won't get caught off guard with a max, massive ta ta tax hike. But there's still a lot of work to be done. We need to continue to grow our reserves while at the same time looking at ways to provide the best services in the most cost-effective way without raising taxes. Now this term of council, we will also continue working towards making Aurora a premier destination for sports. We are blessed to have incredible talent rooted right here in Aurora, from former NHL players to Olympic athletes to coaches and a growing crop of high-end talent currently at the top of the rankings in all their sports. Together with the new hotels under construction, we need to leverage this talent to create a strong, diverse sports community that will bring in tourism. We need to be creative in how we go about upgrading our facilities by working with all our sports partners to create a true center of excellence appropriately located to ensure maximum usage. And while it's true that a government can't create jobs at this level, we can make our community attractive for business to locate and to grow in Aurora. Revitalization of our downtown core through the redevelopment of Library Square will be an key economic driver for our community and act as a catalyst for other businesses to locate in our core. We have already seen that success with Niagara College. And Aurora is in a great position for a better economic future. But we need to leverage the tools that are available to us to retain the business we have and to attract new business. Our newly formed Economic Development Board is working on developing strategies to do just that. Now, the mayor is the best business ambassador for our town always promoting what's best for Aurora to encourage and entice businesses to locate in our community, and I will make that my priority. Now, during the campaign, I heard from residents about how our community is governed. Why are we at large? Why don't we have awards like other municipalities? This option was discussed a number of times over the past few terms of council. We even had it on, a on the ballot a few terms ago as a question. 
but there was never a consensus on when the best time was to move forward. Well, that time is now. One of the first things this council will do is address a ward system. Residents have made it clear that they feel that they are better represented by a ward councillor and it's time to act. Aurora will always be in good company, but we need to be more. We need to grow as leaders in York Region and the GTA. And that starts right here at this council table, how we as a council work together on your behalf. As I've said before, hard work and great ideas aren't enough to get things done. To get from vision to reality, you need to build support for your ideas and you get support by giving support. And that requires two critical elements, collaboration and communication. Now, collaboration isn't an empty buzzword. It's an effective tool to get things done. That doesn't mean that we're always going to agree. That isn't possible, nor is it desirable. If we all thought the same way all the time, how would we ever innovate? Respectful, considered, informed debate is what residents can expect from this council. As your mayor, I will provide the collaborative leadership and community-focused common sense solutions that you expect. We were all elected to work in the best interest of Aurora. That is the core principle that our residents expect will guide our every decision. And if we collectively and individually consider every issue within that context, act in that capacity, residents may not always agree with our decisions, but will respect the integrity of our decision-making process. And that, to me, will be a success. That's why I believe it is so important to keep our residents informed, to have accessible information about the issues that matter. I believe that an informed community is an engaged community, and it's certainly a belief that I live every day. I've worked hard to keep residents informed and engaged throughout my previous term of office, and I will continue to make it my priority as your mayor. I will work to ensure that residents and businesses know what's happening in our town, what decisions have been made as your representatives, and most important, where I stand on the issues that matter most to you. Now, residents have also made it clear that they want a strong voice at the region. And rest assured, I will not be a bystander at regional council meetings. I will be a strong advocate for our community and will work with regional council colleagues to protect and promote the interests of Aurora. As your mayor, my commitment is to provide leadership that cares, that's engaged, and that delivers. To be a working mayor. I won't be sitting behind a desk. I'll be out in the community meeting with you, your neighbors, with businesses and community groups to hear firsthand about your concerns, your issues, and your ideas. And together, we will take action to find solutions that, to address the challenges and move forward with the innovative possibilities to realize our opportunities. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we take our first step towards a shared, positive future. So I say to you and my fellow council members, let's get to work. Thank you, everyone.